Hey guys, Killer6 back with another top 5 video for you today, and today I'm going to cover my favorite handguns in Borderlands 2. So without further ado, let's get going. Number 5. Number 5 is the Grog Nozzle. Now, this one isn't used so much as an actual handgun, but what it does is it allows you to heal yourself pretty dramatically. So, say you, uh, you're almost dead and you need some health real quick, just switch to your Grog Nozzle, throw a grenade, and any damage that those enemies receive comes back to you in health. Now, the eviscerating grog nozzle can also be used to stab for health. Which is pretty awesome. Number four. Number four is the Maggie. Now, this one is one of the ones that I've loved since day one. Well, you know, I didn't have it on day one, but you know what I'm talking about. I've loved this gun since the early days of Borderlands 2, and I still do. I'm glad that they've actually gone back and fixed it so that you get the uh, the extra projectile and the extra damage that it does there. And uh, criticals are awesome. Number three. Number three is the Infinity Pistol. Now, this is the much maligned weapon. People seem to hate this gun. I'm not really sure why. And I know that the bullet spreads crazy and the accuracy isn't all that great. But it's just a fun gun to use, man. You put on the, uh, the Shadow Stalker class mod. You put on your sheriff's badge to get the extra pistol damage put on a b shield just because you know why the hell not you know it's not like i don't know you can kill everything with this thing <laughs> it's just a lot of fun and uh yeah i'd say you know screw the haters enjoy the infinity number two and coming in at number two is the lady fist now this gun used to only do 400 percent critical hit damage and if you play offline, it still only does 400% critical hit damage. But if you're playing online, the hot, fa hot patch, which I don't know, might even be a permanent thing by now, uh, actually gives you 800% critical hit damage. So if you get some headshots with this sucker, things die. They die quick. This thing is also really good for getting out of fight for your life, as you saw a moment ago. So if an enemy puts you down, switch to the Lady Fist, and you'll get right back up. Now, I'll add on top of that that this thing can be used as an offhand weapon with the Gunzerker to apply bonus crit damage to other weapons. You have a really, really awesome gun. So, this one is really easy to get because it's a farmable quest item. Enjoy. And number one. Coming in at number one, no big surprise. This one is most everybody's favorite uh, pistol. It is the Double Penetrating Unkempt Herald. Now, um, recently, Baru did a video on uh, the, the handguns, and he was talking about how uh, it's hard to get all of the bullets to hit a target, but I think one thing that he might have just forgotten was that with Zero, and even with Maya to a degree, uh, with Zero you can use the velocity skill, and your bullets will stay compact for a decent little distance, as you can see here. Uh, the bullets will all hit the target from, uh, you know, say, 20, 30 feet away. So uh, with Velocity and Zero and using the Double Penetrating on Kemp Herald, it, it's, just <laughs> it's just devastating to enemies, and it's a lot of fun to use. So that's my top five for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would, please leave a thumbs up and hit, uh, hit the share button. Share this with your friends. And let me know what you guys think. What are your favorite handguns in the game? Talk to you guys later. Take care.